it's almost like instead of being um, told that I had MS, it would have been much better if I'd been diagnosed with some aggressive form of cancer because then I could be assured, hopefully, of accessing a physician-assisted death when the end got near. But it doesn't seem like I'm going to have that right, at least the way I look at it now, that because there's no advanced consent allowed in their proposed legislation, I just have to bite my time until I'm past the point where I wanted to be alive, when I wanted a, an assisted death at a time of my choosing because the quality of my life was not acceptable to me. And they're not letting me have that right. So you're worried you're going to suffer for potentially years in a quality of life that you don't want. Exactly, exactly. I know that my disease is progressive and I know that there is going to come a time when I am probably going to have to be taken care of 24-7. I'll have to be uh, I'll have to have a catheter or be lifted to the toilet to relieve myself. I will have to be fed. I, I do not want that kind of life. And that's just my own personal view, but I feel that my personal choices should be recognized. That, as Sue Rodriguez said, that those 20 years ago, or longer, I've forgotten how long it's been. It's my life, and it should be my choice. Um, as she so poignantly said, she said, who owns my body? Whose life is this? And as a intelligent, competent human being, I feel that the legislation being proposed is not giving me the rights that the Supreme Court seemed to give me 14 months ago. So I'm, I'm disappointed, I'm angry. I think there's obviously still a lot more work to be done and I just wish that I weren't feeling so tired about the fight. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm okay. I just, I do get emotional. It's my way of reacting.